Now let's take a look at how we connect everything together. First you place all the cameras. In this example I have three cameras. And let's say all the cameras are HDMI only. Then you put the HDMI cables out of the cameras to an HDMI to SDI converters. Like this one, for example. HDMI plug into one end and SDI on the other end. Well, SDI is actually the name of the signal, not the plug. The plug is called B and C and the cable is called coax, but the signal is called SDI. And then take all the SDI cables, the coax cables, down to the switcher. Sound. Take the output of the audio from the PA sound, the XLR cable from the PA sound, to one of the camera's XLR inputs. So you need XLR input on at least one of the cameras. In this way you can have the clear voice of the speaker. And we also need the ambient sound, sound, so take the camera mic, the internal camera mic of one of the other cameras and use that as the other audio source. Both the sound and the video will get through the HDMI and SDI cables down to the switcher and the switcher will have internal mixer for audio. Then you need to remote control the switcher. This is used by a network cable, a CAT5 or CAT6 cable connected to an ordinary computer, Windows or Mac based. And then you take the HDMI output of the multi-view output of the switcher to a TV screen or a computer monitor. And this will show you all the cameras and the preview and program output. But it will not output any sound need to use the program output of the switcher to another uh, TV screen with speakers so you can listen to the sound as well. And in this way you can have a full quality, full screen view of the program output. Alternately you can skip this and use a HDMI output of the program output to a box that can convert the HDMI signal to a computer signal like this Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle. There are two versions of this, one for USB 3 and one for Thunderbolt. And this box also has a HDMI output, so you can loop out the signal to a monitor to view and listen. And then you can use the USB 3 or Thunderbolt output of the box to the same computer. And then you can use this computer as a recording machine. And this will record in full quality out of the switcher. And then you also need to stream, I guess. So then you can use the USB cable out of the switcher to a Windows PC. And it has to be Windows PC because the streaming software is only for Windows. And with this USB cable, you have a already made uh, internet ready video stream, H264, compressed video, ready for outputting on the internet. You could of course also use this computer to record what you are streaming. But remember, streaming is probably a very low quality because your upload bandwidth and you cannot record in one quality and stream in another. And that's why I use the other Thunderbolt version and another computer to record in a much higher quality um, and stream in a lower quality. So you can use the high quality to upload to YouTube afterwards. But if you use this computer to record the stream, you don't need the other computer and you don't need the intensity shuttle box. So this is the workflow for audio and video from the cameras and the PI mixer to the switcher and down to uh, recording and streaming. So now let's take a look at communication with the camera people. You need a microphone or preferably you can use a video camera or an audio, audio recorder with headphone outputs. If you use an ordinary microphone, you need a microphone amplifier of some sort. And if you use a video camera with a, with a headphone output, you don't need this box. 
then you need to feed the audio into either a wireless system or a wire system. And then you need a headphone distributor box like this one from Kramer. So if you use the Kramer box, you output each cable to each camera and preferably use auxiliary cables, yeah, the one with mini jack male in one end and mini jack female in the other end, auxiliary extension cables. And the Kramer box use a, a big jack, so you have to use an adapter from mini jack to big jack. And then you can use this cable together with the, with the video cables, twist it to, together with tape or something. And in the other end with the cameras, you connect them to ordinary headphones with this mini jack, female. And then you probably want to output the video to a secondary room, like the children's room or something. And the, I guess the room is more than five meters away, so here you need an SDI cable. And then you need to convert that SDI to HDMI and output the HDMI to an ordinary TV screen. And here you will get audio as well.